According to Jorge Lorenzo, Marc Marquez was an explosion of aggressiveness, but Pedro Acosta shows different traits. Pedro Acosta and Marc Marquez differ significantly, as Jorge Lorenzo points out. Teenage starlet Acosta will make his MotoGP debut at the season opener in Qatar this week. Already the Moto2 champion, he often draws comparisons to Marquez and received a lot of respect from the paddock for his pre-season testing results. In 2013, Marquez made his MotoGP debut and took home the title. The two-time MotoGP champion Lorenzo believes Acosta has the same kind of magic that young Marquez had. Yes, but he's not the same as Mark, Lorenzo replied. Marquez was a hurricane of risk-taking and aggressiveness. He wanted to win under any circumstances and at all costs. And he was never satisfied, even if he didn't feel good on the bike, even if he didn't like the circuit, you had him there behind you, trying to pass you to beat you. However, he has a history of falling a lot. He won the title and had 20 crashes in 2013. He had 26 crashes and won in 2017. Mark has always had many falls. However, Acosta is a rider who is more conscious of risks and doesn't like crashing. He has the same talent currently, but he works in a more controlled way. His numbers are even better than Mark's, and he is similar, but different. I think that one or two riders, similar to Pedro Acosta, are born every 10 years. He truly has everything. If Pedro Acosta shines in MotoGP as many experts believe he will, he will attract admiring glances from elsewhere pretty quickly. Although the rookie's official contract is only good for this year, KTM is expected to put a clause in place to hold on to their promising new star. He is, in theory, the next big thing to win in MotoGP. However, be cautious with Fermin Aldeguer. Aldeguer will stay in Moto2 until 2024, although the top management of Ducati have already expressed interest in signing him for 2024. However, Acosta will enter the premier class right away and caused controversy while testing in Sepang and Qatar. But it will take a lot of work to match Marquez's achievements in MotoGP. Marquez, then Moto2 world champion, won the MotoGP title in six of his first seven seasons in the Premier class. And he makes his comeback this year on a Ducati, hoping to put an end on the slide of the last three years. Pedro Acosta's plan to be the fastest KTM rider was revealed by behind-the-scenes footage. Acosta signalled his intention for his first ever MotoGP race in a private meeting which was overheard by the media. Entering his first Premier Class season with Tech 3 Gaz Gaz, the teenager has been tipped for future success. During the preseason Sepang test, Acosta was a bright star. He revealed his plan to his closest confidants in a chat captured on camera. About the first race of the season, I think we can be with Brad, he said. Let's say the top 10, 11th, 12th, and 10th in this area, you know. It's not bad for us. It's also true that the pace is faster now. We do, however, miss on the fast lap a little bit. But it is normal enough for this. All of this will be completed if we get better at this and make it to Q2. We are capable of fighting for something if we make it to the top 10. Targeting Brad Binder, who finished fourth in the MotoGP standings last season and was KTM's star rider, is a bold indicator of Acosta's confidence. Being the Moto2 champion at just 19 years old, he insisted on entering the MotoGP this season, which prompted KTM to swiftly find him a bike. Unfortunately, Paul Espargaro had to withdraw to make room for Acosta. I saw what all of you guys saw. He just stepped in and did fantastic things stated Pitt Byra, director of KTM Motorsports. Over the course of the six days, he got better every day, showing a final lap time two-tenths faster than the pole position from last year. So, he is at an extremely high level when he enters this class. Everyone was talking about him, how young he is, how many records he had broken in other classes. However, seeing what really happens when a person moves from Moto2 to MotoGP is always interesting. While KTM is in a far better position than they were the previous season, KTM team manager Francesco Guidotti worries if it is enough. During the Sepang MotoGP test, Aprilia seemed to overtake the Austrian brand, but KTM was still quite strong. Ducati is the clear favourite of taking both tests again in 2024, 
as shown by Francesco Bagnaia's new lap records. The top 10 positions were dominated by Ducati riders, while Pedro Acosta and Brad Binder in particular showed potential with KTM. Clearly much improved compared to last year, Guidotti stated. We're quite pleased about the improvements of our bike in general. The feedback from riders indicates that not every area where we made changes has been received with concerns. We are definitely a step ahead of the last race and winter test. However, we're not sure if it's enough. Everywhere we have been, the lap timings have increased by one second. Let's analyze our position after the first race. This is a circuit that we don't consider to be among the strongest. However, the first race is here and we must continue to improve. KTM expects putting a more frequent challenge to Ducati in the 2024 season, with Brad Binder probably being as the main title contender. However, Guidotti is still unsure about their potential for competition. Difficult to see. It's hard to forecast with all the riders at this level and the bikes getting better. We must approach each race individually, and it will be challenging to predict the first one. Eight hours of riding and 45 minutes for maintenance and setup is not the same. We are aware that race weekends differ and that riders make a difference. These days, we have to be a little more thoughtful because we are concentrating on what we do. However, we have to analyze the competitors and have some time to become more prepared and gain a better understanding of everything. As the 2024 MotoGP season gets closer, Alex Espargaro says that Aprilia is in a higher level than what I expected ahead of pre-season testing. Because of its unique aerodynamic concept, the 2024 RSGP drew attention when its covers were removed during the test in Sepang at the beginning of February. The bike continued to make headlines when Espargaro placed third at the test in Qatar and fifth in Malaysia. Espargaro won two races in 2023 on his way to sixth in the standings and feels the 2024 RSGP is better everywhere over a full lap. He did, however, issue a warning, pointing out that the bike still lacks the Ducati's horsepower, especially in qualifying trim. After the two tests, we are performing at a higher level than I expected before the preseason started, stated Espargaro. We tested at two whole different tracks, and we progressed fast. In every way, the Aprilia is stronger. The engine side of the bike still needs work. It appears that we are getting near the limit, so we need extra torque and power, especially for the soft tires. We will therefore have difficulties on Saturdays. However, the racing pace on the medium tire has been fantastic. I'm very happy with the RSGP24. But if you look at my racing simulation before my crash, I completed a few laps in 1 minute 51s, which is crazy for a medium tyre. Therefore, it indicates that you expect to move at least a few tenths faster when you put on a soft. But I was unable to do so because there are flat spots everywhere. I need more power. The bike is great everywhere. We simply need to increase its capacity for power. According to Espargaro, the team informed him that although the bike's engine is delivering the most horsepower it has ever produced, it recognizes that it's not enough. The Aprilia that completed the test in Qatar is probably the same Aprilia that will compete in 2024 because the manufacturer is restricted by rules from developing its engine throughout the season. Therefore, he believes it will be very difficult to achieve the necessary benefits. When asked if he may expect better engine performance, he replied, That's a question you need to give to Romano Albesiano. It's going to be really tough, I think. Romano informed me in the winter that we are in a really, extremely high number compared to four or five years ago, but he never disclosed the exact horsepower the Aprilia had. They weren't expecting reaching these numbers, but he knows that it is not enough. So hopefully they may become stronger, but it won't be simple. What are your thoughts? Will Pedro Acosta achieve the likes of Marc Marquez or even better? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.